Bob Hyde back here. Hey, man. Nice to see you. Just remember one thing. What's that, Paul? It's only television. It's only television. But it's you know, all. now, back here where I am now, it seems a little cooler. Cool back here. Cool, cool back there. Up there, it was a little uh, warmer. So, Paul, okay. we have interesting. We have thermal pockets in the yeah. studio. <laughs> I sense there is an occluded front. Possibly. W we could get showers. On the other hand, I think if I had to go out there with jokes like that, I'd probably get hot, too. Okay, Monday, the open auditions. If you're in town, <laughs> play any kind of instrument at all, just come whoa, on by. Whoa. No, seriously, it's warm down there. It's breezy here and cool back here. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it must be warm out Hey, there. hey, hey, if you're looking for the West Side Highway, forget it. It's gone. It's a memory. It's a ghost. It's in a cab. It's vapor. Two hours to get to work. The West Side Highway. Adios. Forget it. 86. Goodbye. Well, Good night. It's done. It. Closed Goodbye. for business. Don't come by again. No, forget it. Hi. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's do our uh, top ten list before we get on to the big show. Is that what we're doing? No, I guess we're not doing it, are we? We're not doing it? Have I made a mistake here? We're not doing it? We are doing it. Oh, we're doing it? Okay, no, no, no. no. no, no we're, we're, we're doing it, but we're not doing it here. We're doing it down in Hurley's later. Uh, let's get on to our uh, viewer mail. It's uh, Friday night. Do we have the big viewer mail theme? Absolutely. All right, here it goes. The big viewer mail theme. Viewer mail. Viewer mail. Friday is the day we read viewer mail. Uh, First we read it, okay, okay, then we answer it. That's a little thing we call viewer mail. Letter number one. Uh, dear Dave, my wife and I are big fans of the show, and I hope you can help me out in a matter of great importance. My 19-year-old daughter, the beautiful and talented uh, Christy Simpson, moved from Dallas to New York uh, last year. Uh, it's hard to keep an eye on her and make sure she's okay and hasn't succumbed to the wicked ways of New York City. Uh, could you give her a call and check on her occasionally, maybe, th uh, maybe tonight, it says. Uh, I'd feel better knowing that you're looking out for her, uh, Jim and Treva Simpson, Dallas, Texas. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I, I think we could do that. We'd be glad to uh, check on your daughter. I'm, I'm sure uh, everything is fine, and I believe you have included the uh, phone number. So I'll tell you what, I'll just give her a call. and Just to put your mind at ease, I'm sure... Okay. And her name is Christy Simpson, and uh, sure, not, not a problem. It's the first ring. Hi, this is Rob Lowe. Christy and I are making a video right now and can't come to the phone. But if you leave your name and number at the beep, we'll get the... Uh, letter number two. Dear Dave, what's with all the commercials? Are you just in it for the money? Sincerely, Eric Cooper, Livonia, Livonia, Michigan. Dave's reply to letter number two is brought to you by Budweiser. Hey, Eric Hooper, this Bud's for you. You know, there's only one reason I do this show, Eric, because I care about you, the home viewer, and I care about you enough to want to tell you all about the fine products sold by the best damn sponsors in the world. So if caring is a crime, buddy, yeah, I'm guilty. Dave's reply, courtesy of Budweiser, the official beer of your mail. <laughs> Uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, whatever happened to doing five viewer mail letters on Fridays? Uh, lately, you've only been doing uh, four. Uh, I'm getting pretty tired of all this crap, pal. Sincerely, <laughs> Ray Wilmot, Monroe, New Jersey. Uh, well, you know, I think you get a good point here, Ray, but frankly, we've been very busy. Hold uh, it. A lot of things Wait a second. Hold it. We have Dave. What? Hold it a second. What could, is it? Could we see that letter? What's that, the problem? Just put the letter up again. Yeah. Look at that. Look at, the, look at the language you use. We're trying to do a clean show here, and Ray Wilmot gratuitously uses the C word. He contaminates the entire program with his filth. Hey, this is, this is bad any time, but especially tonight. What, what is tonight? Tonight, the night when Sid's brownie tube is visiting. Oh, no. I mean, look, a little, let's see. You know. Sid's brownie. You know, kids are, I'm, kids are impressionable. They hear these words. They imitate them. Hey, Sid, what's all this crap? Oh, no. There, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sick about this.
It's the late night brownies, ladies and gentlemen, right over there. The late night. New from Pillsbury. Now, letter number four. Uh, dear Dave, if it's all been done before and it's all been heard before, what's left? Just wondering, Maura Walzak, Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, gee, this is uh, kind of depressing, but you know, you could be right, Maura. It, it all has been done before. And you know, if you think about it, people just keep making the same mistakes over and over again, and then finally, one day they're dead. You, you, you know, the longer I think about this, I'm getting very depressed. Uh, fr frankly, I'm just going to spend the day in bed tomorrow. I, I, have, I don't have one good reason oh, to live, no, Paul. No, look, Dave, well, no, Dave, no. She's right. So, Dave, what? wait, look, 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 look at this. Look, an origami bunny. Look at this. I made, <laughs> oh. I made it just for you. Oh, well, Isn't thank you. Nice? I, I'm feeling a little better already. Yeah. <laughs> That's not all, yeah. Dave. What? How about this? A nice cold Budweiser. <laughs> for all you do, Danny Letterman, this Bud's for you. Budweiser, the official beer of viewer mail. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The late night brownies over here. Did you see them? Look, the late night brownies, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. is here. We have the slug lady and uh, the owner of Sunday Silence, Arthur Hancock. Pretty good show. Come on back if you can. Thank you very much.